What's up, gang? This is Ken Zerk, Ken Zilling, Ezekiel Milligan, the villain, feeling also oh Trilligan. And we are back on Danganronpa Trigger. Oh, crap. Hold on. No, that's wrong. We're back on Danganronpa Goodbye Despair. That's what we're back on. I almost forgot we were on the second game. Last episode was a prologue. We pulled up um, to an island. We met some new characters, some new people. Byakuya is here for some reason, and he's freaking obese. Um... Yeah, basically, they kind of subverted expectations. We thought things was going to be peaceful for a bit. Then Monokuma pulled up, murdered the teacher, and was like, nah, we, we taking over. So, let's get into it. <clears throat> As I raised my head from the e handbook with a heavy sigh, I saw the dark courtyard of the hotel. I sat on the bench, paralyzed with thought. Is he really going to make us do this? There was no way I could believe that this was not my reality. Even so, this was undeniably real. What the? Bro summoned the freaking Decepticons. No matter how much I didn't want to believe it, the moment I experienced and felt it myself, it became undeniably real. This is a reality that could not be any more different from my usual daily life. School, studying, exams, job hunting, going for walks, going to school, riding the train, lectures. That kind of daily life is no longer mine. As I looked up, I saw stars glimmering in the night, covering the sky like a sheet. They looked as if they were about to fall into my hands like fluttering snow. For the first time since I arrived at the school, instead of the night sky I'd grown accustomed to, I saw a night sky that was far too beautiful. As I stared blankly into the night sky, I suddenly imagined those words in my mind. The student who murders their classmates will be able to leave this island. When we were forced to hear those words, we just stood there silently. Nobody said a word and eventually, everyone scattered and vanished. And it led straight on to the first night, a night so beautiful it enchanted me. And yet my heart was horribly upset. The kind of beauty was definitely far from my usual daily life. It's chapter one! Ding dong, bing bong. Peak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. It is now 10 p.m. Nighttime can be confusing. If you're out at night and accidentally meet a killer, then it sucks to be you. But if you're worried about that and can't sleep, I've prepared a cottage on the hotel grounds for each of you. Every single one of you, please feel free to rest in your own rooms. However, before you go to bed, I strongly recommend you lock your doors. You never know who might be planning to kill you. <laughs> bye bye. Dang, that's ominous. A cottage, huh? A cottage for the cotton. Uh, oh, what the free? So is that like right here? Yeah, that's Ka Kazuichi, that's Fuyuhiko, Bum, Neko Maru, whoever that is, Teru Teru, um, the sexual assault causer, Byakuya, the goat, oh, that's me. I'm probably gonna try and get close to Byakuya now, cause it's like, man, I wish I could've got closer to Byakuya in the last game after he got his um character development. Okay, I think I said it last last episode, but it's weird. It looks like Byakuya has the character development he got from last game. And that's bothering me. Because if this is like a different universe with new people and all of that, then Byakuya should be the same as he was in the, the first game's prologue, where he was a jerk. But he seems a lot more tame. Dang it! As soon as I entered the cottage, I collapsed onto the bed. What the hell? As I screamed silently to myself, I buried my head in my arms. 
I didn't want to see anyone anymore. I just wanted to be alone forever. I have nobody I can trust. Because even if I wanted to trust them, I don't know anything about them yet. The only person I could trust is myself. No, even I don't believe that. He seems like the opposite of Makoto. In truth, after I was forced to hear that dumb rule, you can't leave unless you kill someone, I realize there's a part of me that really wants to get off this island. And at that moment, I let out a scream. Ah! Ah! A scream erupted from my mouth. Ah! Ah! Let me use complicate. It rushed from my mouth like water from a collapsed dam. Ah! Why me? Why do I have to go through this? Ah! I began to lose my voice and it faded not, and it faded entirely not long after. What followed was silence. No, not complete silence. I heard the faint sound of crashing waves in the distance. As if the waves were murmuring into my ears, this is the world you no longer knew. And once again, I buried my head in my arms. Why am I here? What am I doing here? Man, stop having a hissy fit and get moving, bro. I forced my eyes shut. I wasn't tired or anything. I just wanted to sleep, if not for a short while. I wanted to put an end to it all, kill yourself. And if by chance I managed to wake up the next day, it would be awesome if I went back to my normal life. With these meager expectations, I fell into a light sleep. Hey! I am Danganronpa 2! To those of you who purchased Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair, thank you very much. To those of you who are borrowing Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair from a friend, you always risk losing friends when you borrow their things. So you should just buy your own copy just to be safe. Now then, it's been a while since the main story started. So I'll give a keynote address right now. From now on, I promise you'll be charmed by this world. And generally, it genuinely deserves to be called a true game. So, make sure you get excited and immerse yourself in this heart-throbbing action to your heart's content. Now then, until the very end, please enjoy this game to the fullest. Yes, my good sir. Ding dong, bing bong. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Good morning, everyone! Looks like today is gonna be another perfect tropical day! Now then! Let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today! So it wasn't a dream after all. I was forced to acknowledge that yet again, which put me in a bad mood from the get-go. I guess for now I should go outside- no, Okay! No, 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 you're not allowed to go out! M Monokuma, why are you here? No way! Hey now, don't be so worried. I'm here for fun reasons. Fun reasons. Hey, um... I want you to find my stuffed animals. I got a hat on myself and made too many. Oh, but I thought it'd be a waste of time to just throw them away, so I'm hitting them all over the island. They're scattered all over various areas, so you just go right ahead and look for them all. Why do I have to do that? Because I said so, you can't say no. I've already hidden one of them in a room, and I won't let you want until you find it. Well... Good luck! You jerk. That selfish stuffed animal. Are these gonna be like the new monocoins? Oh, I don't need that, actually. I could just... Is it in here? There's a room for showering beyond this point. It's pretty large and looks easy to use, but I'm, I've never really felt comfortable showering. Well, this is the kind of situation, after all. Dog, <laughs> you can't bathe? What is this? It looks like a shelf. I feel like I shouldn't sh put sh anything here. Why are you right there? Go away! Huh? I've been found? Well done. Good job! 
I've also left you some mana coins. I'm so generous. Isn't that These coins can be exchanged for fabulous items at the beach and on the Rocket Punch Market. I've also hidden the stuffed animals in other places too, so do your best to look for them. <laughs> if you find them all, surprise, surprise. What? Never mind, I should just go. Oh! Oh, okay! Huh? Oh, it's just you. Don't scare me like that. I can say the same for you. Hey. By the way, did you see them? Damn it! Oh man, not good. What the hell are they? Definitely not good. What are you on about? Uh. The bridge, you know? Remember that bridge at the center island? Did something happen to it? Uh. No crap! Why hell why hell was the why the hell else would I be here? This is bad. Those those monsters are in front of the bridges. They're, they're blocking them off. Wrong. They're not monsters. They're mana beasts. Ah. Oh my God! It's here. So cool. The mana beasts are the guardians of Jabberwock Island. They're making sure you guys don't think about ignoring the progression by going to other islands. If those monsters are his gatekeepers, it's better if I don't get too close to them. Damn it. Uh, so annoying. I can't stand this anymore. Hey, get a grip. Your face is getting weird. Aww, man. I can't. There's no way I can get a grip. We're going to be eaten by monsters. There's no way I can enjoy vacation here now. Hey, hey what's with all the noise? Ah! Ah, another monster! <laughs> and I came all the way here to get you pumped. But if you're going to call me a monster, uh, you're here to get us? Well, obviously. I was told to come get you because I, you kept waiting and you two never showed up. Everyone is waiting at the hotel restaurant. Hurry up and join us. Everyone's waiting at the restaurant. Damn it. Uh, whatever, man. I don't care. I don't care at all. <laughs> I'm out of here. Hey, where are you going? That's what I tried to say, but Kazuichi sprinted away like lightning. Guess I'll head over to the restaurant. Yeah, bro. Ignore that guy. He's... He's gonna die, and I'm gonna probably laugh really loud when it happens. Well, howdy there, fellas. You're late, Hajime. Where is Kazuichi? I thought you were together. He ran off somewhere. Huh? Huh? Where? Well, he pretty much said he was running away, but... But... R running? But where? <laughs> <laughs> There's no way to run anyway. What a weirdo. However... However, after what we witnessed yesterday, his behavior is understandable. Huh? Eh, what do you mean? Did something happen yesterday? I don't remember anything happening, and even if I did, it looked totally fake anyway. Understand? Yep, yep, not worth remembering at all. It'd be a lot easier to deal with all this if I could just deny it outright like that. Hey. So, why have you gathered us here? <laughs> not yet. Not until Kazuichi arrives. Ah, wait a second, that means the reason you told us to come here is... Boiting! We! Apparently, Manzu or Byakuya has something to tell us. Really? What? I'm gonna do it! Obviously, we're here to discuss our strategy for defeating that monster. It's impossible. There's no way we could fight that thing. I mean, it has heavy weapons and everything. Show some spirit. Anything is possible with the fighting spirit. Let me tell you. A bold this. boast. However, let me give you some advice. It was close. They're truly strong. Do not raise their voice so recklessly. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, let's start talking already. <laughs> <laughs> This is probably some lame attempt to make us feel better or something. Don't make me repeat myself. Don't make me repeat myself. When everyone is here, then we can start talking. Jeez. Ah, oh, jeez, fine. I'll just bring Kazuichi myself then. Everyone wait here and I'll find him and bring him here, even if I have to tie him up. Mmm, -hmm. mm, I'm a little jealous now. Getting tied up by Miss Mahiru. <laughs> Maybe I should just run away too, too. Just kidding! <laughs> Disgusting moron. That's fine. Now then, let's have breakfast while we wait for everyone. Let's eat. Of course you want to eat. The moment he said that, he began wolfing down the pile of food in front of him. Where did that food come from anyway? <laughs> <laughs> when I arrived this morning, it was already here. Ah, huh? oh, they even have crab and shrimp. Aww. Crab and shrimp are such a pain to eat. I hate them as much as I hate Mikan's ugly stuttering face. <laughs> My ugly stuttering face! Gross! That's it, that's the face right there. Oh, why? Why are you being so mean? 
<laughs> you're the type of girl that gets bullied. Just, you're the type of girl. You're the type of girl that bullies. Just love to torment, aren't you? You should stop now. Oh! Ooh, I got it. Terra Terra prepared this, prepared this food, right? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, it wasn't me. You see, the food I made doesn't taste as crappy as this does. <laughs> this is bad. It tastes yummy to me. Goodness, she's munching. No, oh, no, 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 no. Just yummy, right? Compared to the world-class dishes I make, a dish that tastes yummy would be, could still be considered crap. Nonsense! In fact, even comparing them is out of the question. Comparing my dishes to this lowly peasant food. How rude. Hey, don't take it so personally. Understand. I'm just saying, if you guys ate my food, you wouldn't be able to control yourself. What? What does that even mean? Well done. Well, let's just say your jaw wouldn't be the only thing that drops. There's no mistaking. In fact, your panties would drop too, like the black thong Miss Pecco is wearing, for example. What did you say? You creep. How do you know about that? He guessed correctly? However... However, if Taro Taro didn't prepare his food, then the one who did is... <laughs> could it could it have been Miss... been Monokuma? Is it safe to eat food com... com, com is it safe to eat food cooked by something like that? Don't worry. That's why I'm tasting it for poison, to make sure it's safe for consumption. But you don't need to eat that much to check it for poison. Hey. Okay, thanks for waiting. I brought him here. You are a boy, right? Hey, straighten up a little more. Shouldn't a man like you be embarrassed to walk like that? Oh man. Stop, don't pull, you're going to rip my sleeves. <laughs> Even though you look all flash, you're actually a big coward. Are you gonna be okay? People like you are usually the first victim, you know. I just wanna go home! What the? What happened? I tripped! What? How did your lights get caught up like that from tripping? Can you even call that tripping? That's what I'm saying! How in the world did you end up in such a compromising position after tripping? Well, it certainly makes me happy. I'm very happy right now. No! Oh, I'm so embarrassed. Please help me. Aww. She looks so adorable when she's embarrassed. It's so moe. I'm practically snoring with joy. We, we should help her up. How does that happen? Okay? Mikan, are you okay? <laughs> ah, my head is throbbing a little, but I'm okay. Your head's definitely not okay. Hey. Uh, she's beyond just being a clumsy girl. That fall of hers was like a magic trick or something. Um. Anyway, where is everybody? Everybody's here now, right? Then let's get going. Mm. Since I'm getting sleepy. Hmm. You're right. Though I'm not quite ready to stop eating breakfast, I should begin my talk. So it's finally starting. That took way too long. I right, get to yapping, Bakia. Listen. First, I have a question for you all. That Monokuma thing ordered us to kill each other. So understand these strange circumstances. So under these strange circumstances, what do you think we need right now? Who the frick knows? Get to the point already. Don't make me repeat myself. If you want me to get to the point, you better hurry up and answer my question. Huh? What do we need? We need food and sleep, obviously, right? No! No! You've forgotten about crapping! Which means the answers are good appetite, a good night's sleep, and a good crap! Hmm. Does anyone have the real answer? Perhaps. Could it be a bond? Bond? I... This is what I believe. As long as the Ultimates work together, there's nothing we can't accomplish. It's obvious. You'll all be able to create hope that can overcome any despair. That's why if we want to escape this island, we need to promise each other that we'll work together. Okay, oh, okay, Makoto. Gross. Wow, he said that with a straight face. How is he not embarrassed? <laughs> uh, just as I figured, that was kind of lame, huh? However. However, he does have a point. That must be why Monokuma is enforcing a rule that will cause us to be suspicious of each other. I see. I see. That was a pretty good answer. Since it's impossible for us to face our enemy as individuals, under these circumstances, we must fight as a group. However, what we need to achieve that solidarity is not something as easygoing and optimistic as a bond. 
Huh? Then what? Listen. What we need now is a disciplined leadership provided by an unmistakable leader. I see. I see. Even sports teams need captains after all. Rejoice. Rejoice. I shall accept the position. Huh? Hmm. Now then, I'll wrap up this introduction and let's move on. I'll wrap up this introduction and let's move on to the main question. Hey! Wait a second. What? What is it? Jeez. What did you just say? I don't care how you excuse it, you're being too forceful. Deciding to be the leader all on your own and why does it have to be you anyway? Not possible. Who is more fit to lead other than me? I am the ultimate of... I'm the ultimate affluent progeny of the Togami household, destined to stand above all others. What are you saying? Seriously, I'm telling you, that attitude of yours is too forceful. Wait! Mahiru, please wait. It's true that Byakuya may be a little forceful, but given our current situation, I believe it's a leader's duty under circumstances like this to be forceful to a certain degree. But... That may be true, but... If we just need someone who can lead people, then even Sonya can. No. No, perish a thought. I am merely a figurehead. Hey. Well, he must have the qualities of a leader if he can accept the role under these circumstances. Hmm. If everyone's okay with it, I'm okay with it too. It's all clear now. Then I guess we've made our decision. Don't worry. As long as I'm the leader, I won't let anyone become a victim. I will guide you all. That much, I promise. <laughs> ha! So reliable! It's truly he's reliable, but... I'm a little surprised. I didn't think he was the type of guy who'd say something like that. I expected the ultimate affluent progeny to look down on us like we're bugs or something. Hm. Now then, let's move on to the topic at hand. For real this time, I have something to show you all. Something to show us. Follow me. It's at Jabberwock Park at the central at the central island. Come follow me. After saying it so bluntly, Byakuya turned and left the restaurant, stopping his feet along the way. Just as I thought, he sure is forceful. Aww. Ah, uh, jeez, we may have made a mistake in choosing him as the leader. Though everyone made similar complaints, they all followed Byakuya out of the restaurant. You don't have to pay attention to me, just go, I'll catch up with you soon. You don't seem so persuasive when you have that look on your face. I can't help it. When I get when I get hungry, I lose most of my energy. So after she said that, Akane ate the entire pile of food on the plate in one gulp. Scarce no grub num 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 Man, that was good. You ate so fast I doubt you even tasted it. Ah What happened? Are you choking? Crap, now that I've eaten a little, I'm getting hungrier. So annoying. Jeez, Bianca, you better finish his talk fast, because once he's done, I'm going to eat as much as I can. I guess that's, I guess I should go for now. Hmm, I'm not talking to you. I don't like you. That dabber walk. Da dabber walk. Dabber walk. For skinny people, you're awfully slow. Um. It seems you're just too fast for us. Ah. Uh, Jeez, I never expected a fat so like him to move so fast. What? So, what's supposed to be here? What? Here? Really? Such ignorance. Ah. Uh, if you haven't noticed it yet, then I was right to dismiss you all as idiots. That is a bomb. That is a bomb. W what is that? An obviously out of place object placed in the center of a peaceful park. It looks like a clock, but something seems off. It's counting down. What's going on? Was this here when we came last time? No! No! I'm pretty sure it wasn't. <laughs> I found it this morning when I was exploring the island one more time. It's unknown when it actually when it, when it was actually placed here. It appears. Monokuma must have placed this object. What does this countdown- oh, what does this countdown even mean? Uh, I have no clue. <laughs> Once again, something has appeared that I don't understand. But it's got nothing to do with me because I refuse to believe this is happening. Hold on! Could it be? It better not be a bomb! Are you kidding me? 
A bomb. All right, Yasuhira. Not possible. If they wanted to blow up the island, they would have no they would have done it by now. There's no need for a countdown. Um. Then what are they counting down? Hmm. It's a mystery. Right? A mysterious mystery, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Monami? What? Wh why are you here? Um... I heard everyone talking while I was patrolling, so I came over. Um... No, what? not that. Didn't Monokuma kill you? I see. Ah, so that's why you were surprised. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to worry about that. After all, I can never die. It appears you cannot escape. I see. You must be an undead abomination, risen from the foulest depths of the netherworld by black magic. Do you want do you want me to make you my thrall? Hey, hey. Mana means a mechanical stuffed animal, right? Doesn't that mean she can't die in the first place? <laughs> now that you mention it, she'd only need like a spare or something. A spare? What a mean thing to say! <laughs> However, you have arrived at the perfect time. There's something I wanted to ask you. Come on. What is the meaning behind this timer and this countdown? Answer me. Huh? Countdown? Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? Um, I'm sorry. I don't know what this is. Hey. You really don't know? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't really have a grasp of what Monokuma is up to. You don't know even though you're Monokuma's little sister? That's wrong. I'm not my brother's little sister! Did she accept the role or not? Which one is it? Alrighty. Anyway, let's all do our best. Let's kick the evil Monokuma off this island. <laughs> if you don't know what the countdown is for, you're useless to us. Get lost. Um, um let's together. I said get I lost. Said get lost. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um. That's my goat. That's my goat. I cannot freaking stand Monami. I hate her already. That's my goat. I'm already loving Byakuya. Perhaps you were being a little too harsh? I'm starting to feel sorry for you. I'm already hating Sonya, never mind. But never mind and never mind because I'm serious when I say I hate her. <laughs> Miss Sonya, may I call her Miss? May I call you Miss Sonya? No, I insist on calling you that. I won't be fooled. There's no need to feel sorry for that thing. She's obviously Merc working with Monokuma. Hey, bastard. Who the freak cares about that stuffed animal? More importantly, what the hell is that clock? Hmm. Looks ominous, doesn't it? Who put that object here and how did they do it in just one night? I can't imagine. Hmm. Which means it doesn't make any sense. Also, it's deadly. <laughs> However, that's not all that's unimaginable. This island is full of mysteries that we can't begin to imagine. For example, how were the 16 of us brought to this island? Hmm. I wasn't trying to think about this, this has been bugging me too. But he's right, that is a total mystery. <laughs> There's more. Why is Jabberwaka Island, which is known for being a popular resort destination, now an uninhabited island? There's no sign of tourists or even citizens on this island. Is something like that even possible? This too must be the will of causality. Shut up. All civiliz all civilizations destined to collapse. Nothing begets existence, and existence begets nothing. So it collapsed? You are right. Society is much like a fruit. Once it matures, it is inevitable that it will eventually rot. As the economy grows, the private sector stagnates and elders and bureaucrats become more and more powerful. As time passes, this power becomes the status quo and crushes the seeds of any possible reformation. That is... Such a sad trend. I don't really understand all that, but I feel like the situation here is somewhat different. So... Maybe the Mono Beast killed everyone on the island. What? And that's how it became uninhabited? It's certainly possible. That's a possibility, but we don't know that for sure. Hmm. This mystery remains a mystery, it seems. <laughs> uh, it's like everything here is just full of mysteries. Hmm. You're right. It's mysteries on top of mysteries. However, since these mysteries are overlapping one another, I doubt some no-name group is behind this. What are you trying to say? So in other words... I mean, this situation we're in is undeniably the work of some enormous organization. <laughs> enormous organization? Hmm. Monami, Monokuma, the Mana Beast. They're all machines that require major, major technical skills to operate. Are we screwed? 
Plus, they need a ton of funding. There's no way those things were made just for the hell of it. In other words, that organization must be controlling these machines and monitoring the island with those cameras. Then, could those fiends be hiding on this island? Not possible. Not likely. They're probably running this from somewhere else, somewhere safe. Oh? Where would that be? I don't know. Anyway, there's no mistake that an enormous organization is behind all of this. I see an org a big organization, huh? I can't imagine what kind of people they could be. In other words, well, let's see. There's my Togami Corporation. There's my Togami Corporation, Sonia's Novelesta Kingdom, and the Kuzuryu Clan. It would definitely have to be a power. It would definitely have to be an organization as powerful as one of those groups, if not more so. Huh? Huh? <laughs> I'm used to being mistrusted. Do what you will. Hey. Hold on. I don't care about you or the. Kuzuryu clan, but I won't allow you to doubt Miss Sonia. Miss Sonia is a hot blonde princess. There's a sharp distinction between her and you punks. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, you should shut up already, loser. Whoa. Loser, are you talking about me? Yeah. It's obvious from your flashy clothes you just want to stand out because you're actually a loser. <laughs> <laughs> it must be hard to make a living with your lame loser industry. <laughs> it's too far, dude. That's going way too far. Hey, Byakuya, were you serious just now? About this being related to your family and Sonia's and such and such? Hm. I'm just using them as an example. I'm not saying they have anything to do with this. But you're certain that we're up against a huge organization, right? However... Even if such an organization exists, why would they make us go through something like this? Anyway... <laughs> Whatever. How long are we going to keep talking about this? Why don't we talk about something more realistic? Hm. Our enemy's purpose is still unknown. As long as we find out who's behind this, we'll learn their purpose. So in other words... So what we must do now is find out who our enemy is. If we do that, we'll be much closer to a breakthrough. Luckily, according to the E-Handbook, we are free to explore this island. Listen. There will definitely be a clue about the enemy on this island somewhere. Let's start looking. I'm gonna do it! Alright, let's get this crap done! <laughs> uh, what are we looking for? Hey. Akane, were you even listening? We need to find clues... That'll help us, that'll tell us who our enemy is. Fine. No problem. No matter how large this organization may be, they will not be able to stand against us. Go by four dark devas of destruction. I don't like this guy. Wow. Wow, hamsters came out of your scarf. <laughs> Ooh, they're so adorable. What? Adorable, you say? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're pretty happy about that, huh? Huh? Look at that guy talking to Miss Sonya all casually. I'm definitely gonna beat the crap out of him later. Chill. <laughs> Is it that serious? I don't get it. In this tense situation, we all need to be a lot more cautious. And yet I'm relieved everyone is in such high spirits. It's strange, but I feel like I can rely on them. This must be what it means to have the confidence of an ultimate. Then what am I? Am I confident enough to call myself one of them? Dang it, I still can't remember. What talent am I supposed to have? Listen. Anyway, let me just say this. There's no time to think about something as foolish as killing each other. You must do what you have to do. Observe, speculate, recognize, comprehend. Even if it seems impossible, just persevere. But most importantly, follow my lead. I'll make sure to return you all to your normal lives. This is your leader's order. Understand? <laughs> ah, that's like totally awesome! Ooh, that right hand of his is so plump. I've got the perfect nickname for him. Ham hands. Ham hands? H ham hands, you say. Hmm. I've never thought I'd see the day when someone would call where someone what I never thought I'd see the day when someone called me something like that. Why aren't you getting mad? Naturally. Why would I get mad at something as petty as that? She observed me directly and thought up a nickname. There's nothing dishonest about a name like that. <laughs> Perhaps I've always yearned for this, though it may seem ironic for me to realize that in this peculiar situation. He's totally monologuing right now. Such silly talk. Don't worry about it. I was talking to myself just now. I see. I don't really get it, but I guess this guy's just some overconfident narcissistic jerk after all. Despite our situation, he's mysteriously calm. He might just be a reliable person after all. All right. 
All right, then we should listen to Byakuya and not waste our energy thinking about pointless things. It's true that we're not in the best situation, but it's also not the worst. Great. Because we're not alone. We have friends we can count on to support each other. Gross. Seriously, that sounds so lame. <laughs> I knew it. I was just, I was thinking to myself just how lame it sounded for saying that. Friends, huh? Until now, I never really thought about friendship. That sort of thing seemed embarrassing. How is it embarrassing to have friends? Never thought I... I, I never would have thought about it in this situation. No, actually, it's more like because of this situation. In the end, we never solved the mystery of the ominous countdown. But without losing heart, we all went back to the hotel. Leaving your friends, huh? It'd be difficult to believe in them right away. But it'd be nice if it could happen a little at a time. I'm starting to think like that. Doesn't that show I'm making good progress? Daily life? Free time? Now then, there's no reason to hold up in my room and stare blankly into space. Since it's time, it'd be a great idea if, to, if I went ahead and talked to everyone. I know it's sudden, but it's time for a brief tutorial. All right, I finished my honey bun. Let's do these social links. I want to talk to that to Pecco Pecco girl. Talk to me. Killing is foolish. There must be a way to escape this island. You must find it by any means possible. I forgot something very important. All right, all right, come on, come on, come on. Daddy needs a new pair of shoes. I need to feed my gambling addiction. Killing is foolish. There must be a way to escape this island. We must find it by any means possible. Yeah. Then, then let's explore together. And perhaps we can find a way to escape. I spent time today exploring the island with Pekka. I think Pekka and I grew a little closer. Yeah. Okay, what do I have that I could give her? What was she like? I see. I see. That is quite the item. You're a high caliber man if you're giving away such an astounding item for free. It's cool we're hanging now, but we're not really talking about anything. Hey, Pekko, do you like Kendo? Yes. It's nice to hear. This conversation is progressing. Um, is your house a Kendo dojo? Sort of. Sort of. However. Is there something wrong with that? No, I was just wondering. Pekko's hair is really intense. It might be best if I change the subject. Um, let's see. A topic that probably won't offend her too much. Ah, uh, no, Pekka, what level are you? Yippee. Are you talking about my kendo level? I don't have one. Huh? Dojo trainees typically earn levels corresponding to their years of training. However, I have no need for that. Why? Don't people normally aim for that kind of advancement? No. I have no such aim. My destination has already been decided. Protect who I must protect, cut who I must cut. That alone is the original purpose of the sword. Wielding a blade in its truest sense is my aim. And so? That is my reason for existing. To achieve that, I have no use whatsoever for meaningless levels of determined by arbitrary rules. I see. She's not just a typical Kendo athlete. She truly is the ultimate swordsman. How could I ask such a foolish question about levels? I don't really know much about Kendo, but I think you're really cool. You're kind of like a samurai. What? Really cool. You say the strangest things. No one has ever said that to me before. Well, thank. Never mind. Ah, she seems really awkward. Is she blushing? However, because of the path I've chosen, there are things I've lost as well. Warm, irreplaceable things. What did you lose? Fluffiness. Fluffiness? Yes. There are things that are warm, fluffy, and soft. The cat that came to visit the dojo, my childhood friend's dog, and even the finch I had as a pet. Why? But all animals can sense my menacing presence and turn and run away from me. I just want to touch their soft fur and fluffy feathers to my heart's content. I see. That's really painful. I'm really surprised though. I thought she was gonna talk about an event from her past or something. Oh, then what about asking Gundam if you can touch his hamsters next time you see him? He might be able to help you out. 
He probably knows a way to keep animals from running away from you. I see. I see. You do have a point. Also, since his hamsters are called the four dark devils of destruction, they might not get scared of me and run away. She looks insane. We just gave her a devious thought. I should look for Gundam right now. Her eyes look scary. I think Gundam's hamsters might actually freak out. Hey. Hajime, thank you for your advice. If you'd like, please come talk to me again. Goodbye. Pekko walked off in a hurry. She must be really desperate to test something fluffy. But based on this, I feel I was able to get significantly... I was able to significantly close the distance between me and Pekka. Next time, I might be able to talk to her normally. I decided to go back to my room for now. Did I get a skill? Still bright out, got some time left. Man, I love free time. Goodness, that boy is big. Very strange. Why did the organization behind this matter kidnap us? I'd like to think about it, but there's just not enough clues. What should I do? Invite Byaku out the chat? <laughs> Very well. I was just getting I was just starting to get hungry from overthinking. This is your leader's order. Let's eat something light. Follow me. I spent time with Byakuya today watching him eat an obscene amount of food. <laughs> Bro! <laughs> what? <laughs> Looks like Byakuya let me get a little closer to him. Let's give that boy a present. What did you say? Where? Where did you obtain this? <laughs> this masterpiece couldn't even be found by the collective effort of my Togami Corporation. I'll be keeping this. Hey, Hajime, let me ask you one thing. Huh? Me? I don't really mind, but there's something I've been wondering for a while, and I'd like to purge that question from my mind. Listen. So let me ask you, what is your body fat percentage? Huh? Well, I don't really know the exact number. I've never had it checked before. What? Never had it checked before? This can't be. Are you saying you have no intention of understanding the ratio of fat stored within you? I swear, this is why I dislike commoners. For some reason, Byakuya's mood seems abnormal. I'm starting to think I've actually done something wrong. <laughs> I see. However, just by looking at you, I'd say that you're a nine. No, maybe an eight. <laughs> Regardless, it's probably around one digit. <laughs> Be grateful this is a tropical island. If you were someone less hospitable, you'd freeze to death. I see. <laughs> anyway, you still can't remember what your talent is? Yeah, not yet. Don't worry. I see. However, there's no need for you to be depressed about it. Huh? What's with that face? Nothing. I just thought you were gonna I was gonna get yelled at again. How foolish. Do you really think I'd get mad about something like that? A person like me has a responsibility to watch over you weaklings. <laughs> Besides, as long as I'm here, it doesn't matter what your talent is. In the name of my family. As long as Byakuya Togami is in charge, you will all know peace. I see. His personality is so overwhelming. The Tagami Corporation is famous worldwide, but it will grow even more rapidly under my command. You should feel lucky that someone as talented as me is here. Listen. Just believe in me. If you do, everything will turn out fine. I don't really understand, but he's extremely confident. So this is Byakuya Togami, the ultimate affluent progeny. Hmm. Just make sure you don't get in my way. A commoner should know their place and stay put. Goodbye. However, if there's anything troubling you, I don't mind if you rely on me. After saying that, Byakuya gallantly strolled away. He was bringing pretty condescending, but he didn't seem like a bad guy. I feel like if I got to know a little bit about Byakuya... Yo! Byakuya is actually cool! I head to my room. I really need to know what's going on here. Out of everything, out of every mystery in this game, that's what's throwing me off the most. The fact that Byakuya is chill. Ding dong dong ding. And that belt is now, could it be? Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip. Hello, everyone. The fun time oh, wait, what? you've all been waiting for is about to begin. I wonder what festivities await you. Oops, don't want to ruin the surprise. It was a little meh at first, but anyway, please gather at Jabberwock Park. 
Did he just tell us to go to the park? Are you freaking deaf, stupid? In the middle of the night, what is he up to? I suddenly had a bad feeling about all this and goosebumps sprung all over my body. If we're not allowed to defy Monokuma, then there's no way I can ignore this, right? Which means there's nothing I can do except listen to him. Dang it, what is it now? Um, uh, Miss Peko Pekoyama, what's up? Uh, Peko, you came too, huh? I have no choice, after all. The air handbook clearly states that defying Monokuma is not permitted. However, It'd be foolish to resist if it was just going to make things worse. I hope everyone else feels the same way. That worries me a little. Anyway. At any rate, we must go to the park. Everyone was already at Jabberwock Park when I arrived. Once again, you're late. Did you lose your nerve? I'd like to deny that, but he's not exactly wrong either. That's fine. Anyway, it seems everyone is here. How annoying! Uh, what is it this time? So freaking annoying. Then you shouldn't have come. I mean. Well, I mean, I don't know what'll happen to me if I don't come. <laughs> Just, uh, shut up! Since none of us know what'll happen, maybe you should be the one to test that out. <gasps> hey, you may talk like you're a tough, wise guy, but you wouldn't be here unless you were scared too. Yeah, exactly what she said. I guess even a big bad Yakuza like you must be scared of that monster, huh? Like you? Ah, she said the truth. That's what she said, you freaking bum. Wait. Stop it, you two. Fighting among friends isn't good. Huh? What? Did you just say friend? Dumbass. I'm not your friend, idiot. When did I ever become friends with you bastards? Ah. Uh, <laughs> let me be perfectly clear. I can do it, you know. What? You. What did you just say? Hm. Oh, you didn't hear me? Then let me repeat myself just once for you. I said I can do it. Do it? What are you saying? Are you talking about killing somebody? Then do it then! Do it! Come kill somebody and watch me break all your ligaments! Hey dude, why don't you calm down for a second before I calm you down? Don't talk to me. I ain't talking to you like we friends. I'm talking like you. Woo! You almost made me say a bad word on camera. Keep playing with me, dude. I put this in a little stripe on him. I put them all around your head. I shave you bar and drip your head like a basketball. Shoot the dude a hoop and cut your head off. Keep freaking playing with me. I hate people like you, boy. Don't misunderstand. Every single freck on your nose is gonna get turned to a bullet hole. Keep playing with me, boy. I'll turn them blushes on your cheek into actual red blood and not just pink blush. Keep freaking playing with me, boy. Woo! Kill it, be kill. I don't care, Jeez. bro. Play nice and get along. Shut up! What are you saying? If you don't stop it right now, I'm gonna get seriously angry. You don't treat me like a kid. And don't talk to my girl like that. Keep playing with me, bro. I don't know why you're talking to her like that. She cool, bro. You the one that's tripping. Get up out of here, dude. I'll take that freaking tire on your neck. Tighten it. Tighten it. Tight, tight, tighten it. Until you choke to death. Keep playing with me, boy. Just stop. Just stop already. This kind of fighting will not get us anywhere. Shut the hell up! Oh my goodness, I hate this guy. Step forward, I'll kill you. I hate this guy. Yeah, get him! Get him! No, actually, don't get him, because then we'll have to, like, get you executed. Like, <sighs> Sounds fun. Give me your best shot. What's going to happen if you're this easily provoked? That's enough. Enough. Huh? I see. Fuyuhiko. I understand what you're saying. Don't worry. I do not intend to dismiss your feelings. There was a time when I also thought the same way as you. Don't treat me like a fucking kid. Let me say this. But what would reckless killing accomplish? If you fail to get away with it, you know you'll be executed. Or perhaps that's what you really want. If so, hmm. you'd only be killing yourself to run away from this predicament. That's what a child would do. You... Listen. Listen. So long as we're here, I will not let any of you die. I will not let any of you become a victim. And that goes for you too, Fuyuhiko. I won't let you die. Yeah. What? Everything you're saying is just empty promises. <laughs> it's true my words would ring hollow if anyone else spoke them. My name is Byakuya But I am Byakuya Togami, and I'm destined to bring those promises to fruition. 
<laughs> Yo, it's so cool. I agree. I don't care what you say. I'm just gonna do whatever I feel like. Do what you will. However, remember what I said earlier. In the name of my family. I will not let any of you become a victim. That is a duty I have appointed myself. Seems like Byaku has resolved it for now. But even if he's the ultimate Yakuza, there's no way Fuyuhiko really meant what he said earlier, right? Okay! This is troubling! It looked like you guys were arguing, so I wasn't sure when to actually show up. It looks like I showed up at an awkward time. Hey, hey. Why are you dressed like that? Hey, um... Oh, didn't I mention it in my recent broadcast? It's my costume for the fun time. Oh, don't tell me you're gonna... Correct. That's right! Since we're on a tropical island, I'm here to do my two-man comedy routine. <laughs> Why does it matter that we're on a tropical island? But can you do a two-man comedy routine all by yourself? Of course! Of course not! That's why I brought my partner! Oh, uh, oh what is this? Meaningless. Hmm, <laughs> that figures. Thank you for waiting! Now then, without further ado, I'm pleased to present Monokuma's side-splitting live two-man comedy show! Me? Huh? I didn't hear anything about this! Are you telling me I have to improvise? How pitiful. I'm speechless. Wait, what is this? Manami's actually a bad guy. 
she's as bad as the first villain the hero fights in a teen manga. They're always the underdog. Believe me, it's a fact that Monami's a villain. I'll let you all in on a little secret of hers. Monami went out of her way to erase your memories. Oh. <laughs> I was... I wasn't expecting this. I thought it was actually going to be something funny and something like filler or like, you know, how Dog and Robo likes the comedy stuff. And I thought they were good. I thought that's what this all this was. I didn't know they were actually about to put important stuff in this. That caught me off guard. Say what? Wait, huh? You guys don't even remember how you got to this island, am I right? Well, that's because Monami stole your memories. Well, dang. Why would she do that? What are you saying all of a sudden? But wait, there's more! She didn't just steal your boring memories, like how you guys got to this island. She completely took away your memories of the years you spent at Hope's Peak Academy. What a shocker! That's interesting, because when this game first started and we was going through all the prologue stuff, I had in my head the whole time I was thinking like, so is this similar to Danganronpa 1 where we actually spent time in Hope's Peak and those memories were taken away? Or is it going to be something different? So Monokuma just confirmed it for me. Oh, uh, I feel great now that I've shared that with you. Seriously, memory loss plots are so old hat nowadays. You just did that last game! Only a total hat! would wait until the end of the story to reveal a cliche twist you like did that. that you did that last game you hypocrite please stop <laughs> wasn't that a huge surprise in truth you guys aren't freshman students at all you guys just thought you were because you've lost all of your school memories quick Someone get a plagiarist because I feel like I've heard this story before. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a knee slapper. Seriously, this is bad in so many ways. Why? I'm through dealing with you. Oh, I can't make them laugh. <laughs> His backhand is far too powerful. Huh? That's... What... What did he mean? Hey! Hey! How was it? Was it funny? Was the comedy too highbrow for you? Come on. Hey, what were you saying just now? Huh? What was I saying just now? <laughs> oh, you mean when I said your school memories were completely stolen? Completely stolen? Our school memories completely... What is he saying? <laughs> uh, there's no way. Because I just entered Hope's Peak Academy and I was brought to this island right away. It's true. That's because that's how you remember it. All thanks to Monami stealing your school memories. What are you saying? That's impossible. Who knows? Man, how many years have been since you guys first entered Hope's Peak Academy? I wonder what happened to your friends and family. They're probably worried sick about you. Maybe. Impossible. Our school memories were stolen? That's ridiculous. That's right. That's right. There's no way I have memory loss. You can't. Don't, don't listen to what he says. <laughs> Limit reached. I won't believe, I won't believe. <laughs> You're lying, right? Stealing our memories, that's a lie, right? You're just trying to make fools out of us, right? Wrong. Nope, it's not a lie. If it was a lie, then how would you explain this? The moment you arrived at Whole Speak Academy, you all experienced a strange dizziness. What? How did you know that? Actually. Why, that was the cutoff point. Your memories beyond that point have been completely removed. What the hell? I could feel myself getting lightheaded. I didn't think I couldn't speak. I could only breathe in heavy, gasping breath. Wait a second! So this is a canonical sequel. This isn't a different universe or another storyline. This is a canonic sequel. Because Monokuma said he heard this story before, talking about Danganronpa 1. 
Meaning, in this universe, Danganronpa 1 is canon. So everything that happened in Trigger Happy Havoc happened before this. So, what's up with Bianquia? That's good. Oh my goodness, it's just more confusing. So, a long time has passed since then? It's possible. There's no way. Lie. On the contrary, why is it impossible? That's Whether or not it's possible, there's no way we can believe it. No, no. You just don't want to believe it, right? Yeah. But don't worry, I'm a generous guy. I can give you back your memories. Uh? Huh? Hey, um... However, there's a catch. <laughs> don't tell me the catch is... <laughs> figured it out yet? You guys have to kill each other! That's my bargaining point! Hey, hey. You guys wanna know, right? You want your school of memories returned to you, right? Hey, man. Then you better start killing! A penny for your thoughts and a murder for your memories! You pissed me off. Hey, stop running your mouth! Well, why? My, my, why so angry? I'm just providing you with a motor from my bottom of big, generous heart! Otherwise, you cowards wouldn't get any killing done! Why, that's not your fault. Humans are natural born cowards. They even cry after the mom squeezes them out. Special pleading, sir. That's why I'm giving you a motive. Think of it as an excuse to commit your future crimes. Quiet. Stop, stop this at once. Do you really think your delusional rambling will convince it will convince us to commit murder? What are you saying? I don't believe that memory lost crap for the in the first place. But more than that, what you guys really don't believe is each other, right? What's going on? What do you mean? Hey, um... You guys don't know each other, which means... Yeah! None of you realize that a traitor is hiding among you, right? Brocious revealing... So, he... Every every mystery from Danganronpa 1, or at least, like, the, the smaller mysteries that didn't change too much of his plan... He's revealing right off the bat. Because a lot of these mysteries... Because think about it. In Danganronpa 1, a lot of these mysteries that he's revealing right now that we have to figure out in Danganronpa 1, all they did was add more confusion. So I guess he feels like he just has nothing else planned. That's it. Huh? <sighs> hey, why aren't there 16 of you? A total of 15 students from Home Speak Academy were arranged to come to this island. I got it! That's right! There's probably a traitor I don't even know about hiding among the group. Just kidding. You... What are you saying? All this crap about traitors doesn't make sense. It's obviously nonsense. Lame. For real, you guys. How can you be so sure? You guys don't know anything about each other. You don't even know each other's true natures. That's why if one of you is planning to kill someone, it's impossible for any of you to know. With those two words, everyone felt silent. If I wanted someone to argue with him, anybody. But nobody said a word, they just stood there. Uh -huh. Even so, if there really is a traitor, isn't that gosh darn awful? Pretending to be your ally and tricking you guys? It makes sense for someone like that to get killed, right? <laughs> come on, make a preemptive strike. It's first come, first serve, and the winner takes all. <laughs> if you want to survive, you gotta find that person before they find you. Even after Monokuma's boisterous laughter faded away, we all just stood there. Every one of us. This situation, this circumstance, this phenomenon, this disaster, this nightmare, this hell, this despair. It consumed every one of us. Is it true? Is there really a traitor among us? You got it wrong! Uh, it's not me, by the way! I know I may look suspicious, but it's not me! Who is it? Hurry up and show yourself! You're only making things worse for you by staying silent! That's enough. Just stop. There's no way there's a traitor. There's no way. It's pointless to even discuss something so foolish. I won't believe. I won't believe. Because there's no way I can believe. There, there's no reason for, in the first place, to believe it, right? Hey. Monami, you would know. Uh. Is what Monokuma said true? About our memory loss and about the traitor? Um... Um, I mean... Everyone needs to look to the future. That's why you shouldn't be looking back to the past. <laughs> Keep your eyes fixed on the future. Let, let's do our best. Let's do our very best. Huh? Uh, she ran away. 
how ridiculous. Memory loss of traitor. It's completely fictional. Dumbass. I can't deal with this bull crap. As he said, it's a work of fiction. It's entirely different from the reality I know. Stolen memories, all my school memories, everything. A traitor hiding among us. But what really struck me was when Monokuma said, you guys don't know anything about each other. Ahem. Oops, it is now. Please return now, Ben. Hey. Hey, what should we do? It's better if we call it a night here. We should get some sleep and try to keep our minds calm. I guess you're right. This is your leader's order. Just so you all know, do not think about any, any, don't think about unnecessary things. This is your leader's order. Tomorrow morning, let's meet at the restaurant after Monokuma's morning announcement. Um, How troubling. I think the saying goes, I'm frightened so stiff. Huh? I feel pretty stiff right now too. Uh, That's not how the saying goes, but it's not her fault. She's a foreigner after all. To be honest, I don't really remember what happened after that, but later I realized something. I was sitting on my bed inside the cottage with my head drooping down to my chest. As I sat there alone, a strange thought suddenly crossed my mind. Traitor. Could it be someone who isn't like the others? Like someone who doesn't even remember what their talent is? What the hell? I don't understand at all. I put these stupid thoughts out of my mind and collapsed onto my bed. Immediately I closed my eyes. Closing my eyes was the only thing I could do to escape this otherworldly reality. They say impossible is a word that's only found in a fool's dictionary. Obviously the imp it's impossible to use a word that's not in your dictionary. If someone can actually make the impossible possible, it's all over if you say that. You can truly call that person someone who doesn't have the impossible. Ahem. Hope's be good. Now then, let's show. One third. Hey. Alright, that's the end of the episode, fellas. Um, peace out. I love you guys. Make sure you like and subscribe if y'all want to see some more.